Hey. Excuse me, sir. Oh, oh. All flights have departed for the night. Time to move along. Thank you. <clears throat> That's Craig. Craig's got the world at his feet. He's sipping champagne somewhere. He owes me. Yeah, he owes me big time. Okay, so you're not the best cook in the world. Maybe, you know, there's always takeout. I'm a fabulous cook. Of course you are. I mean, I, I just thought that when you said you couldn't be the wife that, that Henry wants and deserves, you meant that... I'm not talking about the kitchen. Oh. You're talking about some other room? The one with the bed in it. <laughs> Well, you two were going on about having a family. I just, I, I, I assume... Oh, that feels so awful. <sighs> well, 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 I'm sure there's, you're not the only newlywed to, with, with these kind of issues. It's like I don't love him. I do. So, so maybe the timing's just not right yet. No, there's not going to be a right time. Not for Henry and me. Not like that. Oh, God, I got him into a marriage, which is supposed to be the best time of your life, and now I'm breaking his heart, and I just don't know what to do. Hello. It's Henry. Hello, Henry. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm really glad you asked me that, Craig. I'm really glad you asked me that. I, I thought that you and Henry loved each other. That's why you were planning on making a family together. We do love each other. It's not one-sided, but... Oh, I was just so stupid. I thought that love would be enough, but obviously it's not. Henry wants a real marriage, and he deserves a real marriage. But I've just thought of him as a friend for so long, I can't seem to make that transition. But you two were, were sleeping together, right? Just sleeping. With Henry holding me all night. He never complains, even after I turned him down and I told him that we weren't ever going to raise a family together, but he just accepts it. I know it's gotta be killing him inside, but he doesn't say anything because he's such a good person and I am turning his life into a nightmare, and which is probably why he's having chest pains. I gotta do something to make this right. But what, he, are you talking about divorce? No, God no, ending this marriage would kill Henry, but staying in it is destroying us both. Henry is a mess and I'm a mess. <sighs> you gotta help me, Mike, I don't know what to do, you gotta help me. Henry! Henry, 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 Henry. I knew you were crafty, devious, and not to be trusted, uh, but you've outdone yourself. Fake chest pains and just having to fly off somewhere. Brilliant! Well, <laughs> where'd you tell him you were going? Well, I told Mike I had to see a specialist, and I asked him to keep an eye on Katie while I was gone. You're doing the right thing. I am, am I? No, oh, you know you are. You're making Katie's dreams come. So you just stay out of town as long as you can. Let nature take its course. I'll keep you prized. You're a prince. More like a pauper, Craig. Problem? Well, I've got nowhere to go. I've got no money to get there. That's, that's where you come in. Henry? Yeah? I'm not sure I get you. Oh, I think you do. I, I'm, I, I'm the only one making the sacrifices here. So tell me, Craig, how far are you willing to go to make your sister happy? I don't know what to say. If this marriage isn't what Henry wants, it, it can't be what you want either. So what should I do? I can't tell you that. Come on, Mike, you're my friend. You're Henry's best man. If you don't know what to do, then I... <sighs> oh, okay. All I can say is this. All right, if, if you cannot bring yourself to be intimate with him, and you can't see a point in time in the future where, where you'll want to, and, and, and you don't want a family with the guy, what the hell are you doing married to him? I told you, we love each other. I know, but, but it's not the same way. You don't want the same things. The only thing that Henry wants is for me to be happy. And that's probably why he's having chest pains. That, that's too much pressure. 
he is realizing that he cannot be the man that you want and need your husband to be. And it's making him sick, literally. Sure sounds like it. So end it. Set him free. Uh, Henry. Yeah, Katie's happiness is on the line here, Craig, and I need to be around to make sure that I can keep an eye on things, make sure it goes according to plan, tweak things as necessary, make sure you don't louse things up. Which is why I need a place here in Oakdale. All right, well, take a room at the wagon wheel. Fine, I'll... You take a room at the wagon wheel, and I'll take a suite at the Lakeview. I mean, it's uh, the least you can do, Craig. I'm the one making all the sacrifices here. You, on the other hand, I haven't seen you do anything, so... Henry, you staying at the Lakeview poses problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. None of which, I am sure, are financial. Money is not an object where my sister's happiness is concerned. Really? You could afford me, Craig. This is... All right. Lakeview. But Katie never finds out you're in town. No, no, no. I wear a disguise. I'll be a great roommate, too. You'll love it. Henry, I'm mm -hmm. not a roommate kind of guy. Anyway, it's time you got used to sleeping alone. Then I guess you and Katie. I'm sorry, Henry. That was probably an insensitive thing to say. I'm becoming inured to it. Well, see, there you go, you see? So we get you a fake name, we get you a nice room with bath, and find a way to end this well intentioned yet ill fated marriage to my sister forthwith and took sweet. Come on. Henry. Maybe you won't have to. We haven't even been married for a month. I, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe you can get an annulment. No, I can't. I can't do that to him. Okay. Okay, what do you want from this marriage? I want to make Henry happy. Take Henry out of the equation for a minute. What do you want? You, you, you think he'll be happy living a life without passion? Without sex? Without children? I can change. I'll just make sacrifices. That's what Henry's done. You're not going to be happy with a life like that. I know you. I know that you want a family. You want a house full of kids. And you are a very passionate woman. Are you, are you willing to just give up that part of your life? To never make love to a man again? I don't know what to do, Mike. You, okay, you got to be true to yourself before you can be honest with Henry. Okay, so l l let's get back to my question. What do you need to make you happy? Really happy? business asking you to weigh in on this. Uh, let's just change the subject. I'm sorry. Give me one good reason. Because the truth is a dangerous thing, and we are probably going to end up saying things that we probably shouldn't say. There's nothing you can't tell me. There's, there's nothing you're going to say that's going to make me not want to be your friend. Okay, so tell me, what makes Katie happy? What do you want me to say? That I still have feelings for you? Is that what you want to hear? Is that the truth? I got into this whole thing with Henry because I wanted to get a rise out of you. So I thought that planning this big wedding would just make you feel like you were losing me and you'd fall in love with me all over again and you'd leave Jennifer and we'd pick up where we left off and I would never let you go. But, but what? I had to let go of that dream because you didn't want me anymore. So I'm not going to stand here, a married woman, and tell a man who's also spoken for, by the way, that I haven't stopped thinking about him. And that I'm still in love with him. And I still want him. And that he's still in my blood. I can't say that, and I won't, no matter what. Kate, look at me. Did you mean that? Do you still love me? Do you still think about me? 
a married woman, Mike? This is not a marriage. You need somebody you can give yourself to on your wedding night. And every night after that for the rest of your lives. You need that passion and romance that, that, that you're not going to get from Henry. Yeah, maybe not, but... <sighs> Even if Henry and I weren't still together, there's still Jennifer. Ah, uh, I, I... I don't know. We seem to want different things. You know, I, I, I want a family and she wants a career. Do you ever... Mm, no, never mind. What? What? Do you ever think about <sighs> what things would have been like if there wasn't a Henry or a Jennifer? If we could pick up where we left off? I think about it. What do you think about exactly? Think about how much I'd tell you that I miss you. And how much I want to touch you. Tell you all the things that I've been wanting to say. Me too. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, it's me. Hi, Henry. How are you, sweetheart? I'm good. I, I want to let you know that I landed and uh, everything's fine. Good. How are you feeling? How's your heart? Oh, about, about, about the same, I suspect. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Mike stopped by to hang out. Um, I gotta go, so, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, give you a ring tomorrow. Love you. Love you, too. I wish a lot of things, Katie. Me too. I'm like... 